Greetings, y'all. Welcome to another episode of State of the Build. I am your host, Emily Reeves. This is a pretty great one because we have my good friend, Mike Finnegan, joining us for this episode. And we get to have a little jet boat action. We've never had anything marine related on the series, so I'm really excited to get the scoop on Mike's jet boat because it's currently broken. I have a feeling that will come along with the story. We at Peak have a new offering for you guys that I'm really stoked about. If you go to www.peakauto.com forward slash Peak Squad, you will find an opportunity to enter a coupon code. That coupon code will enter you to win a bunch of awesome Peak Squad merch, a Peak Squad swag bag, which is a new thing we've come up with to thank you guys for your support and being a part of the Peak Squad. All you have to do is enter Peak Squad for Life, the number four. You'll find all the details and the link in the description below. I'm excited about it. Who doesn't love free stuff? Alrighty, what do you say we get on with this episode and check in with Finnegan? Exciting news. I just texted Finnegan and Newburn is there too. David Newburn is his right hand man and you will know him if you watch Finnegan's show on Motor Trend called Faster with Finnegan. Um, his friend Mike Cotton and David Newburn are on that show with him and Newburn is one of my favoriteest people in the whole wide world. So I'm excited that we not only get Mike Finnegan but we get David Newburn too. All right, let's shoot him a video and kick this off. What's up fellas? Thank y'all so much for taking the time to do these videos with me today. I'm so excited to give everybody an update on your jet boat. Finnegan, it is so insane. And every time I see it, I'm just like, I have to pick my jaw up off the floor because it's so sick. Okay, give everyone an update. What is the power plant on your boat? And tell us how long you've had it because you've had this project quite a while, right? <sighs> Thanks for doing this. And Newburn, I'm so glad you're with us. Hey, Em. Thanks for inviting me. This is amazing. And uh, you're the perfect excuse to actually pay attention to this because it's filthy. I haven't used it since I broke it. Uh, what you're looking at here is game over. This is a fiberglass jet boat. Uh, the hull is called a Peterson Placecraft. It's 19 feet long. The bare hull weighs 420 pounds. It's very, very light. Like, uh, here's a good demonstration of how light it is, right? This is the top of the boat. You can, you can just bend it like with your fingers. You really can't walk around up here at all. So the boat weighs 420 pounds empty. And with all the stuff inside of it, I'm guessing it's probably about 1500 pounds. And this engine in its current state makes about 1700 horsepower. So power to weight ratio, super good on game over. Uh, what you're looking at here, this is a Sunny's Racing Engines 711 cubic inch Hemi. And when I say Hemi, it's not your normal 426 Chrysler Hemi. These are hemispherical shaped heads that Sonny developed himself on top of a Brodix aluminum engine block that is a, more like a Chevy 454 than a Hemi. Um, in fact, the same motor mounts and starter that bolt onto your 454 and your old Chevy truck would bolt onto this, except it's got these monster heads on it. Um, it is fed via giant precision turbochargers. Um, and they're really not that big. These are 88 millimeter turbos. There's two of them. Uh, they feed air into a precision air to water intercooler that is sitting right there. And then the Holly EFI is feeding 118 octane rocket racing fuel into this motor. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's a two seater. You know, if you have crazy friends, you can bring one out with you. And uh, it's got an old school metal flake steering wheel and a gas pedal. And the big question is how fast is it? I really don't know. Um, I've only held my foot down for about five seconds in it. Um, I've been uh, about 130 in it so far. Um, it's pretty much illegal for any heads up drag racing class out there on the water. And so I mainly just goof around on my local lake with it. 
and um, had a lot of fun with it last summer. Um, last summer was the first time I had it running in the seven years that I've been putting it together, and I broke it. Engine's fine, but I broke the jet drive, which if you walk back here, you'll see there is no jet drive anymore because I broke it, took it out of the boat, sent it back to California to get service, and um, the boat's just kind of been sitting ever since. So, game over in a nutshell. I cannot imagine hurling myself across the lake in something with 1,700 horsepower that weighs 1,000 pounds and some change. Oh my gosh. No wonder you've only held on the go fast pedal for like five seconds. That would be so insanely scary. And you've got a lot to lose if you die. You know, it's like, that's, that's a lot on the line. Holy moly. That engine has always amazed me because it's, it seems like it's a one of a kind sort of build. Um, I would love to delve into all of the intricacies of that engine in specific, just learning about how Sunny Racing Engines builds those. That's amazing. All right, so what is a 711 cubic inch Hemi with turbos? It's a lot of aftermarket parts. The engine block is aluminum. It's made by a company called Brodix, they're out of Arkansas. The heads and intake are from Sunny's Racing Engines. They're also aluminum. Uh, the intake is several pieces of billet that bolt together. It's modular so that this intake fits on an engine as small as mine. Yes, I said small, because this is only 711 cubic inches. It will also bolt onto an engine that's a thousand cubic inches, which is what Sunny specializes in. Sonny is one of the pioneers of big inch mountain motors. And uh, before he passed away, he and I had a lot of fun bench racing what happens when you stick one of his engines with turbos in a jet boat. And um, sad to report, he's not here with us anymore. Um, I'm bummed by it because like I said, he, he was behind this project from day one. Um, I, I called him one day and I said, I sold my last drag boat, I sold my own engine, and I clipped my coupons. <laughs> Um, can you help me out and get, cut me a deal on one of these because I want to try one and I want to see what happens and he said hell yeah. And uh, in the beginning this engine was naturally aspirated. We dynoed it at his shop after he built it. It made 1275 horsepower on pump gas without the turbos. And then we turboed it and never got a chance to go back on his dyno. Um, I'm bummed. I wish we had. So the 1700 horsepower uh, number we think this engine makes right now. Um, on a low boost setting is based off of fuel flow numbers. We know how much fuel we're flowing through the fuel system at wide open throttle. We assume, you know, given some variables, variables that it makes about 1700 horsepower. And uh, I don't know, maybe one day we'll go back. We'll try out these new valve covers that uh, Sonny sent me right before he passed. And um, maybe we'll go back to his shop and dyno it. In the meantime, we'll wait for our jet drive to get repaired and uh, We'll go have some more fun with this thing. My gosh. Okay, so when you broke it, what was that experience like? Was it violent? Was it just like a pop or did it just stop accelerating? Like, what was that experience like? Broken. Well, first let me tell you how it works when it's not broken. The way a jet boat functions is this. There's a hole in the bottom of the boat here. Water comes through that hole into the jet drive, which would normally be right here in this area. The jet drive is directly coupled to the engine by a short drive shaft. There's no gearbox, there's no clutch, there's no torque converter. When the engine spins, this spins. And when this spins, it actually sucks water out of the lake and squeezes it out the back after going through this impeller, which spins like this. Um, pluses of a jet drive, ridiculous acceleration. Lots of G's. They're super fun to hold, shot, and drive. The downside is if the jet drive or the engine breaks and stops while the boat is underway, you usually crash and go swimming. Uh, and the reason for that is imagine this spinning at 8,000 RPM, the boat's skipping across the water. All that water is coming in here. Now that stops, right? Kick the rods out of the motor or whatever. This stops. 
the water hits it, it's got nowhere to go, it makes the back of the boat leap up out of the water, the front goes down, boat spins out, you go swimming. So um, we try for that to not ever happen. <laughs> you know, we do a lot of maintenance, a lot of preventative stuff, and uh, cross our fingers every time we go out and drive it. But uh, when this broke the last time, what happened was I was skipping across the water, the boat leapt out of the water. And so for a brief moment, there was no water coming in here. And when the boat landed in the water and this was spinning 7,000 RPM, that water coming in here, which you can't compress water, it's like a hammer. And it just hammered all the parts in the jet drive and um, actually broke pieces out the back of it. And um, I didn't know it at the time, I just felt a little vibration, but I didn't know it was broken. And so uh, when we got back to the shop, we uh, sent the jet drive to California, it's getting rebuilt, and next summer, we'll be back on the water, we'll have some more fun. <laughs> My goodness, that is so rad, dude. And how special to have those valve covers from Sonny now that he's no longer with us. That is such, a wonderful memory and I'm so thankful that he gave you those. I'm excited to see Game Over back in action come summer and um, gosh, there has to be other boat adventures coming up. Um, are there bucket list trips you want to take or any other boats coming in the mix at all? P.S. Newburn, you haven't even said hi. What are you doing? Being a fantastic videographer, but what's up, dude? What's up, Emily? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, and funny you should say that. There is not one, but two boats coming to Finnegan's Garage. Uh, one, I don't know if it's a secret or if he's told anybody yet, but Finnegan's having a new boat built. And uh, I'll just let him tell you about that later. But the second one, uh, you may recognize it from Roadkill. It's where they took the muscle truck, hauled this boat to a lake, took the motor out of the muscle truck, put it in the boat, cruised around, came back, took the motor out of the boat, put it back in the muscle truck, and went home. Um, now, anyway, long story short, uh, Finnegan's buying that boat. We're bringing it here. We're going to race it a couple times, and then we're going to pull the motor out of that boat, put it in his new boat that he's building, not this one, his new one, and then I'm going to build a motor to put back in that boat. Then we'll have three boats here that we can tear out the lake with, piss off the neighbors, and have all kinds of fun. I can't wait. What a great report. I loved that roadkill episode when the guys swapped the engine out of the muscle truck and into the boat and went and enjoyed it. That was so awesome. Oh my gosh. So FSM is going to see triple the amount of boat action this year. Sweet. All right. Well, I really appreciate y'all jumping on and making this episode with me and giving us a sneak peek into not only game over, but other marine shenanigans that are going to take place this year. So great. You guys are the bomb and I hope we get to get together this year. I've got big hopes that fun stuff can still happen this year, so we'll see about that. I hope y'all have an awesome, productive day, and we'll talk to y'all soon. Em, thanks for having us. Stoked to have you here in the garage for a little while, and um, hopefully the next time we talk, game over's in one piece again. Newburn has his own jet boat to go play with, and mm -hmm. we'll make more fun on the water for you. That's right. See ya. Well, are you guys fans of boat stuff like I am? I look forward to reading the comments and see if you guys also have an infatuation for big horsepower on the water. Finnegan and Newvern are such awesome humans and I loved having them on the show with me today. Y'all, please remember, go on to www.peakauto.com forward slash peak squad and enter to win the awesome stuff that we're giving away. Our code for this episode is Peak Squad for Life. All the details can be found down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you look forward to the next episode. See you then.